Overwatch has a colorful cast of 22 characters with various playstyles and abilities, allowing for interesting team configurations that can create unique matchups each time you play. However, it's no surprise that with 22 characters, there are going to be some... balance issues. Incidental oversights, as they were. I won't argue that every hero is right where they need to be, but I will argue that one of them is in a bit of a weird spot compared to the rest, and could use a bit of a rework to be more viable. And that hero... is D.Va. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's Symmetra. <laughs> Hi, uh, real quick. I started working on this video about a week ago, and I've put a lot of effort into making it up to this point in time, but I didn't want to be one of those people who had barely any playtime with a hero suggesting how they'd be changed according to my lack of experience. So I spent a lot of time playing Symmetra this past week, learning the ins and outs, and my skill level definitely improved. As a result, though, some of my ideas for tweaking and rebalancing the character sort of changed as well. So what I'm going to do is run the video as I've already made it with its suggested alterations and changes, and at the end of my original suggestions, I'll modify them accordingly to how I feel about Symmetra, now that I've played her more. Enjoy. If for whatever reason you're watching this and you're not entirely sure who Symmetra is, here's a quick rundown. Of the five support characters in Overwatch, Symmetra is this one. Oh. More. Uh... Symmetra is interesting in that she's the one support class in the game that doesn't offer team healing capabilities. Instead, her role of support is relegated to the use of turrets to cover flanks, provide a small 25 HP shield boost, and ultimately, <laughs> create a teleporter for convenient transit to the front line from the spawn room. I'm not here to suggest a complete and utter change to the way she plays, but I would at least like to suggest something that gives her support title more meaning. Because as it is right now, a good chunk of people actually consider Symmetra a defender class, not support. She needs tweaks that make her more valuable as support, while simultaneously opening her up for use in more game modes and maps, because as it is, people don't play Symmetra on offense or King of the Hill. Despite having the highest win rate of all the heroes in the game in the PC version, and on the console department she ranks second in both the Xbox One and PS4 versions, Symmetra's appeal outside defense, point one, is limited because she is outperformed by other heroes in this function. But you just said her win rate was the highest, so obviously she's fine, you might argue. No. Actually, my understanding of how win rate is calculated is affected by the way most people play Symmetra, i.e. switching to a different hero when you lose the first point on defense, after which a win is still attributed to her, I believe, or she's taken out of the equation entirely. I'm not sure which it is. So, back on point, after some minor brainstorming, I came up with two suggestions to try and balance out an idea that would make Symmetra a viable support class. These suggestions may not completely invalidate the need of a healer, but it could give her reasonable viability in comparison to one. First and foremost, I won't be suggesting any changes to her Photon Projector. Her combat capabilities are incredibly dangerous in both close quarters and even at a moderate distance in the right hands. Damage that can ramp up to 120 HP per second, and a projectile orb that, while slow moving, can penetrate barriers and multiple players, are more than fair in my opinion. Her sentries could charge a bit faster, but the idea of multiple tiny sentries being used in combination to cover flanks and even the odd objective here and there is also more or less fine by me. So that leaves two things in Symmetra's kit that I haven't touched on, and honestly I think they both need changes. I thought about this long and hard, while I was supposed to be doing my real job no less, and while I don't expect it to happen in any capacity, I at least wanted to suggest it. So here it goes. Symmetra's two remaining abilities should be switched. Teleporter should be a regular ability, and Shield Matrix should be her ultimate. Wait, don't go to the comment section for God's sake! At least hear me out first. I'm not arguing that Symmetra should have a six-charge teleporter available the second she spawns into the game. No, that's too much. At the start of a match, or whenever she's selected, she spawns into the map with a teleporter containing one charge. After 10 seconds, it gains a second charge. Eight seconds later, a third. Five seconds later, a fourth. Five seconds later, a fifth, and a final five seconds for a sixth and final charge. Upon destruction, a 12 second cooldown would occur before she regains a teleporter with a single charge. 33 seconds from map spawn to full teleporter, and 45 seconds from destruction to full teleporter, which is more than enough time to have at least one teleporter set up at the beginning of the game, and potentially gives her a chance to set one up by the time she reaches the front line if she's switched into sometime into a match or if her teleporter is destroyed after she respawns from a previous death. The teleporter's health would be proportionate to how many charges it has when placed, each one worth 40 for a maximum of 240 HP. For a final act of balance, a teleporter would not gain charges once deployed, meaning that the Symmetra player couldn't throw down a one-charge teleporter with 40 HP and expect it to eventually grow into a six-charge 240 HP one. 
As such, teleporters would need some sort of visual indicator to show how many charges they have left, because a healer probably wouldn't want to step into one and be stranded as the sole team member near the objective. The whole idea behind this change is to make her teleporter more accessible and allow Symmetra to perform her core support role more freely, but not completely without consequence. I feel like allowing her more teleporter uptime opportunities would give players good reason to choose Symmetra over the likes of a secondary healer, by allowing her team to more frequently cross large distances quickly, which gives her more viability outside her first point defense niche. She would find more uses on offense since she doesn't have to bank on defenders overextending and walking into her area to allow her to build charge for a teleporter, because she could now more liberally provide this service to her team. On a more petty and unrelated note, I know Teleporter is a useful ability, and I wouldn't be surprised if Blizzard had already tried making it one of her normal abilities instead of her ultimate, and decided against it. I don't know. However, I feel that compared to every other hero in the game, Teleporter as an alt really doesn't feel as satisfying. Enemy It's Hanu. Reckoning draws. Justice reigns from above. I've got you in my sights. Sweet. Time to go. Die, die, die. You go, I got the key, Okuro. Fire in the hole. doesn't really feel all that great in my opinion. It's the only ultimate with no immediate combat uses. Having it does not aid Symmetra or her team's immediate survivability in a firefight or sudden push. In essence, it's the only passive ultimate ability. Deploying it also creates an extra liability in that Symmetra has to dedicate some of her defenses to protecting it, weakening her ability to protect other areas on top of her already short range, low HP, and limited mobility. Shield Matrix, on the other hand, has a better potential in my mind. Now obviously as an ult, it wouldn't just be the piddly little plus 25 recharging HP per player thing. No, it would be something distinct and worthwhile that could be used with more proactivity on the player's part, and potentially make critical effects in the game that would be useful in more than just defense point one. While I don't think my suggestions will be taken all that seriously, I did want to suggest reworks that required the removal of nothing from the game, and simultaneously required less work. I didn't want to suggest that Blizzard needed to call in the actress to make new lines of dialogue or remove ones that already exist for shield matrix like you are shielded or shield matrix established. By looking inward for more streamlined solutions, I found my inspiration in Winston, specifically his barrier projector. This deployable shield has a 5 meter radius, 800 health, allows teammates to fire safely from inside it, and absolutely anyone to pass through it. So what if Symmetra used her reality warping ways as an ultimate to create a perfect hard light barrier? An AoE barrier channeled by Symmetra's dancing, locking her into place that provided the same benefits to teammates as Winston's barrier projector, but was indestructible for its duration and didn't allow enemies to pass through it. Teammates like Bastion and Farrah could move inside the barrier to attack and defend an objective safely or deploy ults. Symmetra could solely contest a point for a few seconds as her teammates returned by a teleporter to assist her. She could serve as an active barrier to side passages where she discovers a big enemy team push, allowing her team to come and intercept whoever she's blocking. She could deploy it on payload so her team could gather around and attempt to push. She could use it offensively on a point to give her teammates a place to dry and dig in their heels against enemy defenses. So many possibilities that extend her use beyond her current niche. That's the whole idea behind my changes. She functions the same in combat and defensively, but is given a more active support role with less restrictive teleporter deployment conditions and a protective ult that could hinder enemies or protect allies in a variety of different ways. 
Okay, now the following sentences are being delivered about a week after the rest of the video's audio was recorded, and I saved a spot at the end of my editing timeline to allow myself an opportunity to change my mind, as it were. In capturing footage for this video, I've spent a lot more time playing Overwatch trying to get onto defense maps, where I can use Symmetra to try and get more experience, so I can at least say I'm not arguing from a position of ignorance. And even with all this extra Symmetra playtime and undoubtedly getting a lot better with the hero, I don't think I'm going to recant my suggestions entirely. Despite a higher level of comfort and ability with the hero, I still think she doesn't have enough flexibility for use on offense, hence why I spent a lot more time playing Overwatch to get onto defense maps. The biggest argument I've made in need for these changes to Symmetra were for making her valid in more places and game modes, plus expanding her selection capability beyond her niche. With a label of support, she needs to be more useful than just defense. I will admit that I think I did still manage to slightly underestimate her teleporter, but if only for the number of max charges it holds. Six teleport charges is a lot, and can help a team recover from a singular wipe, which as far as ultimates go, seems more alright than I originally thought. If it were to be reworked into a more readily available ability, it might need to hold less max number of charges and have lower HP. But I still think that reconfiguring her teleporter as an ability, and Photon Shield into an ult, would give her more appeal for selection on different maps and sides, which is the biggest reasoning for my suggestions for the changes in the first place. So I'll stand by them. Anyway, that's my two cents. What do you think? Is it too much? Not enough? Let me know in the comments below. Symmetra is one of my favorite character designs in Overwatch, and I never feel like I get to use her anywhere near enough. So I made this video with the hopes of finding out where other people stand, and seeing if maybe I could make some decent suggestions to try and pull her out of that niche that only the real pros can use her outside of regularly. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Thanks for watching and take it easy, YouTube.